So when my students and I create Canva websites for our direct sales on demand presentations, one tip that I really emphasize is not to let the presentation get too long. You don't want the guests to feel like they are scrolling and scrolling and scrolling through a lot of information, which might not actually pertain to them depending on what they're actually interested in hearing from you. We want the presentation to feel snappy and fun and light and to leave them wanting more. So one way that I love to add more content without adding more bulk is through embedding a slideshow into the website. This way the viewer can swipe through the slides if they're interested, but it doesn't leave the whole presentation feeling like it takes a long time to get through. So in this video, let's go over how you can embed a Canva slideshow into a Canva website. For this technique, you will need to have two different Canva websites. One is your original slideshow, and then the second one is the website that that slideshow is going to live in. Let's say I want to make a website about all my favorite restaurants in Madison, Wisconsin. I want to devote some attention to coffee shops specifically, including what I love about each one, but I want to keep it to one page, but not make that page too crowded. It reminds me of that scene in The Simpsons when a woman's checking out the grocery store and she goes, I want you to put everything in one bag, but I don't want that bag to be heavy. So my solution is to create a slideshow that the viewer can swipe through manually to explore these coffee shops. So here is the slideshow itself in another tab. I created this um, as just an Instagram post design type. It doesn't really matter what type you pick. Um, just think about the dimensions that you want. I think that square dimensions work well on a phone or mobile first size um, Canva website. So I've got one page for each of three shops to feature. And then I also created a first page here that is just to prompt the user to swipe or tap through to explore. And I even added animation to each page. You can see that here on the block animation um, so that as the viewer is swiping through, they will have a little bit of visual interest as they go. So in order to get this on my site, it's pretty simple. I just need to grab the unique URL that I can use to embed this design inside my website. So over here in the three dots, um, we have all these different ways to share. I'm gonna click on see all and look for embed. Make sure that you're copying the embed link down here, not this embed code. Canva doesn't use the code, it needs your link. So I'm going to copy that. And then back in this other tab where this is to go, this is what the end result looks like. Let's back that up. Um, I'm just really going to click on here and you can go over to more and embed, but really I just like to do control V to paste and it knows what to do. It pastes it in as an embedded design. I just need to position it in place and size it how I want. And now when I view this as a website, Of course, it will look different on a phone, but you can see that I can just swipe through these at my own pace. And I can even click to visit this site for one of them and it will take me right there. Now let me point out just a couple of things. For one, I was able to introduce clickable links in the original slideshow. And then when viewed in my website, in the embedded slideshow, those links are active. So this can have a lot of great applications for you. Also, you may be wondering what happens if you edit your slideshow. Well, Canva is embedding the live version of that slideshow. So it's gonna always be pulling from the most recent version of that slideshow design. So as long as the user is pulling it up for the first time or refreshes, they're gonna see the most up-to-date version of your slideshow design. Changes you make could take a couple of minutes to take effect, but in general, it is showing in real time. So to recap, your step-by-step -step plan is, step one, create a Canva design to be your slideshow with one page per slide. Step two, select to share it using the embed option. 
and copy that embed link, not the embed code. Step three, in the website that will contain your slideshow, simply select the destination page and hit Control V or Command V if you're on a Mac to paste the design in. Then you can reposition it or resize it as needed. Just be sure to leave space for the user to navigate to the next page of the site. Step four, share your website as usual and the viewer will be able to navigate through your slides. As you can imagine, there are some great applications for this. You could have a series of shoppable thumbnail images. Maybe it's a photo of a product, a little description, and they can click on any of those to purchase them from you. Tell a story that is broken out into chunks that people can binge on, just like they binge on their Instagram stories. You can have a very simple slideshow that shows a before and prompts them to swipe to see the results, the after photo. So embedded slideshows are a great way to introduce some compelling content that lets the viewer choose which topics they want to dive a little deeper on in your website. If you love this video, click the like button so that more people can find this solution. And be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any more tips like this. I'll see you in the next video. I love you, Mama. Mm. Huggies. Huggies. <laughs>